Okay, let me get this straight. You were gonna buy an EV to replace your Audi S4. Yeah. You didn't buy an EV. No. Instead, you imported a 5,000 pound, 17 foot long V12 JDM luxury sedan. Yeah. I approve. Oh, good. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And after driving in this for a couple seconds, I'm gonna say yeah. it might just be no. the bargain. No, don't say that. Of the century. Okay, fine. I actually really like that. And the reason Thomas is saying it is because above Toyota, there is Lexus. And above Lexus, there's Toyota again, but only for one model, the Century. Imagine that you're a Japanese business mogul, or perhaps you're a high-level government leader, or even the emperor himself. You obviously don't drive, so you get whisked around in a Rolls Royce, right? Wrong. Every day, you let yourself sit above the road on the air suspension of a Toyota. One that is outfitted with luxurious wool and handcrafted interior finishes. It has five mufflers. This is a vehicle for which Toyota spared no expense. Because, make no mistake, this is the flagship car not just of Toyota, but all of Japan. And now, thanks to the 15-year import rule in Canada, we can have it too. And thanks to the 25-year rule, Americans can now finally buy this second gen as well the one with the 5-litre V12. But should you? I never cared for it, until I sat in this 2004 example for 10 seconds at Eclection Auto, a dealership here in Toronto that specialises in Japanese imports. And I've got to say, it was love at first ride. So I immediately went home and started researching it like you do when you fall in love with a car. And every piece of information I came across felt straight out of an origin story that plays at the start of a Kung Fu Panda movie. It was filled with magic, mysticism, and charm. And so naturally, James couldn't pull the trigger, even with the car being offered at 10% of its original value, the price of a new Honda Civic to effectively buy an entire Rolls Royce from Japan. He's the most indecisive man I've ever met. Despite all the sports car temptations that come with our job, he's driven the same Miata for five years. And in this case, my pestering to buy this century wasn't enough. But then this happened. Okay, so for the last 24 hours, I've been obsessing over the Toyota Century ever since driving it. And we've come here to a friend's house and on the wall, is the same TC that adorns the side of the Toyota Century. It is a, a literal sign. It has to happen. We must buy a limousine from Japan. Clearly, you might say that the writing was on the wall. <sighs> awful. Just awful. Oh, and by the way, James obviously needs a personalized plate for this car. Drop your eight-digit suggestions in the comments. Winner gets a t-shirt. <laughs> And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell. All right, welcome to my Toyota Century. How does the, that feel well, to say? My, I told my parents they're so confused. <laughs> they're like, no what? What is it? One more time? I had to, so yeah, you have to explain to everyone what this is. And okay, I, I just, it. just before, I, I need to explain just how smooth and quiet this car is. Yeah. Like this is completely serene. It, it transports you to a cherry blossom in Sakura season, is that right? I don't know. In Japan. I'm gonna believe you. Having just left a meeting, so I wanted a, I wanted the antithesis to the Miata. What does this do? Right? Everything. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> that oh that was one of the things that God. sold me. I got it. You know, once I discovered I that. Is this? Do I have any controls? You got plenty of controls. Oh my God! There's so many controls. <gasps> okay, can I? I want to stamp on the engine and skate, but it won't. Oh, I can control this seat. It just smooth. Oh, that's so smooth. Right, like this is like 290 horsepower. I think it was supposed to have 270 or so, but the imported one, it's a gentleman's agreement. It's all the Japanese stuff. It's not supposed to have oh, too much power. My, I, I'm listening, I swear. Yeah, well, I can drop it into power mode. <laughs> Don't ask me about so fuel economy. Powerful. And it should be quicker. It's not slow. But There's actually not, a nice noise to it. It builds power. It really does. This build is a 2004. Power. This has the four-speed transmission. Okay. So the six-speed comes on 2005s onwards, which we can get in Canada, but I didn't get that. Oh, this is just such a a different experience to anything. Well, I've been going on recently about the Miata's really, really fun. You know, epitome of like fun sports car drop top. I want this with manual. This is big. Or it's the opposite it of is everything It is literally Miata. the opposite to your Miata in every single way. But it shares that quality that I have decided, I've discovered that I love, which is being very simple in its intent and doing a task for a lot cheaper than the competition. So the same way that an MX-5 is, can actually be more fun than the F-types and the 911s of the world. I was listening. There's a pillow. Yeah. That's that's a pillow so that you can... Anyway, this, in a way, <laughs> is advertises humility. How much is this car again? 20, uh, 28 Canadian. <laughs> oh my God. There is a Japanese saying that the hammer, that, the nail that sticks out gets hammered. And this is supposed to be con conforming. It's supposed to be a subtle design. It's not supposed to be flashy. And I kind of love that. It's so quiet. It's so, so quiet. It actually, it didn't lean too much in the corner there. No, it doesn't. Easy. No, but if I start going fast, it really you doesn't handle. You don't have handle. to. You don't yeah, have like to. That's... Oh, this doesn't feel right now. Yeah. All of a sudden, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to do that. Very Rolls Royce in its demeanor. Very, Very Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce. Very Rolls Royce. It's calm. It's quiet. I feel so relaxed driving it. I'm comfortable. Listen, and I'm not even just saying this. This is not hyperbole, but a brand new Phantom is quieter than this. Yes. But not by much. No, not by much. You, a brand you, new Phantom. You can actually just whisper and it is, it's fine. You know, yeah. we're 70 kilometers an hour. Like right these cars now. that go by. Whisper. Yeah. Whisper. <laughs> and, and, you know, there's something about the fact that the brand known for obsessing over reliability, this is their best version of that. Their best car. Un just so unreal. I, I spent 10 seconds in your position and I was like, I need this. That was exactly where I was. Just like that. This is just so good. And it's not even the drive. Everything about this car is nuts. Let me show you the paint. Okay. It's incredible. Isn't it? And only four people in the world are qualified to paint a century after they get sent to a six month lacquering workshop, which I imagine is in the hills next to an oracle somewhere. Probably a cherry blossom tree. Lots of cherry blossoms. Speaking of which, we tried our best. On short notice, this, this was, was the best we could do. This was all we could do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they, they apply seven layers of material to make the paint look like this. It has okay. to, the requirement is it has to be a mirror finish. Yes. Because that giant blind spot that is the C-pillar is yeah. supposed to be a last glance before facing the public mirror. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, so this little bit of over Yeah, you're here. head of state, you're head of a company. So I'm supposed to get out. Yeah. I'm sure someone will close the door for me. Right, it's got soft close. Right. And I'll go. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly that. That is outrageous and what a fact the finishers the you know the people that, that carve and and sand and to make it sh and shape it yeah they have to do decades of lesser toyotas okay and then they apprentice for a master century body builder body that master sound right. they're very strong it's hard work master century builder <laughs> and then once they qualify from that they get their own set of tools that are made to measure for their hands this car's overkill. That it's overbuilt. The sign at the factory says, best car in the world. The best car in the world. It's like Elf. Best cup of coffee. It's exactly like World's Elf. best cup of coffee. So I believe, I believe them. They did it. The best <laughs> car in the world. That's amazing. 
And that engine we've yeah. been experiencing, yeah. the very smooth V12, yeah. that's the only V12 Japan has put in a series production car. No. It's because this is above Lexus. So Lexus isn't even allowed the V12. The right. best they have is a V10. Right. So that Lexus LFA kind of is wonderful. It's, a pr it's so good. Amazing sound. It's so good. He really likes that. Yeah, car, he does, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, um, I just want to say that the, the, the kind of the, this car is very imposing. And I think that's probably their intention with the with the headlights and the huge grill and these like crazy wing mirrors. I, I believe you can get sentries with the mirrors mounted here. You though, can, right? you can, yeah. This okay. is what makes it look weirder though. This gives it a presence like no. It, this has got so much attention. Yeah. While I've been, I didn't expect it. I've had people pull up, thumbs up, people wondering where it is. Why is he in the right seat? Uh, but yeah, I you know the, as much as cool as the styling is and it, as. I, it didn't grab me. Remember, I didn't care for this car until I drove it, and, or I sat inside. Right. So, I gotta show you what's going on. Okay. <sighs> yeah, okay. so no soft clothes on the front doors. No. It's a passenger focused car, remember? Right, of course, yeah. as it should be. Um, so, I haven't sat up here yet. This is really neat. A couple things. Uh, that is it's just such a cool badge. Oh yes, the Golden Phoenix. The Golden Phoenix. Yes, it's it's like part of mythology and it's from the Imperial family. So Ah, I see. Phoenix is kind of like a rising from the ashes metaphor. Yeah, but I think it is also the baddie in Kung Fu Panda 2, isn't he? <laughs> I keep seeing it, I wanna like it, but I hate that guy. James may have watched Kung Fu Panda recently. Uh, it's good douche. It's, 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 it's real good. Skadoosh. It is it is a good movie. Um okay, so a couple things I want to point out. Uh, this is a Sentry. It is not a Lexus. However, there's some Lexus things in here. How dare you? <laughs> I'm How dare saying. you? The, the, the color of the green in the digital things is very like Lexus LS from the 90s. Okay, okay. And the, and the needles are very uh, Lexus. Yes, but it's a digital gauge cluster. Technically, yeah. It's it. it reads the speedometer digitally. Yeah. You know, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, materials in here are... They are very wonderful. Yeah, wool is the only way to go. Well, yeah, so is it my is this true that the top trim is not leather, it's wool? I believe the wool is the above. That's not a thing in North America you get. No. Right? We, we, anything that's not leather is, is assumed to be lower quality. But I, I think the wool will add to the agelessness of this. In 10 yeah. years, this will look exactly the same. Mm. It doesn't mean, you know, despite the fact that it's a Toyota, it doesn't mean it's without its technology, right? Yes, we're in the middle of the ocean here. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, everything's in Japanese. Yes. So the Translate app has become my best friend. Yeah, so the you, is amazing. You have two heated seats there. Yeah, I do. Do you One know that I do that? And it says, boom, rear seat, driver and driving seat. So I can turn on the, the, the passenger's heated seat. What if they just can't be bothered? To make to... sure they're warm. And you can move my seat with, from here with the... to make that. That's not going to make them more comfortable, is it? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's making you more comfortable. And speaking of technology, yeah. press that button. That one there. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, what is this? This is a shrine to the STI because it doesn't exist anymore. Because <laughs> they don't make them anymore. Does it just... I haven't figured out the best use for this. I think I'm going to fill it with Japanese candy. That is so funny. Why does it rise up? I don't, because it's a phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, and so, yeah, so you can get this either with a column mounted shifter like this or a yeah. floor mounted shifter, which goes here. Oh, I wouldn't want to lose this. Where, yeah, exactly. where am I going to store well, my the STI? The column, exactly. Yeah. The, the column mounted shifter freaked me out at first, but knowing that I get this piece of tech, I mean, that's worth every penny. And you know what? It's working. It's working. And it will probably continue to work. For another 82 it's years. Toyota, yeah. This is just, uh, we got real like uh, uh, aluminum stainless steel trim here. Yeah, a lot of attention has been paid to this. Like, everything's about sound insulation. You, your keys that normally jangle if you have a key ring. What, what, what where they jingle? Jingle, jangle? Or do, maybe they do both. The noise that they make. <laughs> they, the steering, the column. Oh, is, did you put this here? I put a loony there. What is? Because. It's magnetic to grab all your other keys so that they don't jingle jangle. That is amazing. It's not all perfect. This bit here is a bit, like when you drive, you can, you're a bit aware of this, this divider. Yeah, I see. And there's no like solid armrest here. We've got the soft headliner here. We have this yeah. little... What the heck is that's this? To, that's to block the little bit of sunlight that would be coming in that area. I have always... You know what? I, I've always said, actually, why isn't there a thing here there to go. prevent this? That is the awesome. Century, the Sentry has the answer. Oh my God, feel, it's Put so your hand cool. in the door pockets. It's all felt, it's all... It's soft. Okay, so 
This has a tape deck and a CD changer in the glove compartment. Let me confirm that. Yes. Oh, you translated. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I've got the six CD changer it's here. It's right there. Yeah. That whole deck comes out and you put oh, CDs in it. I don't it, think right? it's even six, is it? It's less than that. It might be six. It's multi. Multi CD. Multi. Multiple. It's more than one. Yeah. This is just really cool, isn't it? And I assume, I'm just going to make an assumption that this is some sort of special wood that makes takes a craftsman years to learn how to sand and yeah probably yeah probably. okay i don't know okay or what if that's the one thing that's not it's just borrowed from like a, a corolla they went, to, they went to the local scrapyard and got some wood but yeah i mean what's in here it goes all the way down what's that yeah well you can release this uh there you go oh i see there's more and then there's a cup holder ah of course yeah what's that button do uh that is a negative ion thing that's a negative ion emitter? Yeah, which is weird, because like, I don't see a reason to be negative about anything. I'm really a big fan <laughs> of this. Oh, you've got these buttons here. So that okay. opens and closes your shade. Ah, very cool. And there are doilies for the seats. They're in the trunk. Is that the official Japanese word? Uh, I believe it's a doily-san. <laughs> Coming up with a new dictionary. Hey, I got all the Italian right. You did get all the Italian right in the If it's katakana, yeah. then that's correct. Trust me. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think I just I kind of love it in here. No, 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 this is a supremely cool vehicle to, to sit in. Um, I would like to drive this now because I have a fairly fresh picture in my head of what it's like to drive a Rolls Royce. Well, I would love to be a passenger in it. Okay, off you go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It is still a bit weird being on the right-hand side of the car. Yeah, you get used to it. Oh, yes. I've never, I'm not going to be a passenger much in this car, so I'm no. going to revel in it. Well, actually, now that you say that, we are actually going to the Montreal Grand Prix. And I think we're going to drive from Toronto in this. We'll do a little vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on Instagram. Okay. Oh, that's good. The steering is so light okay. in the ratio is so slow. Yeah, you have to really <laughs> do a lot of input. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, what are you doing back there? I'm trying to make myself lean a bit. Oh, oh my God, you cannot feel oh. the shifts. You cannot feel the transmission. I know, so that, you know, the six speed is supposed to be an improvement, but the four speed is known to be bulletproof. So why? Well, I don't feel I like can't... I'm missing anything. And the Americans, you haven't got a six speed for another eight years, so. The engine is not, well, it's not, not powerful. It doesn't like rip, no, but it's... People have done burnouts. That sucks. Uh, these are for Daisy. <laughs> no. It's a tribute. She's not dead yet, but right. she's, she's, she's 50. <laughs> it's okay. It's oh, I love the golden Phoenix back here. So I open this and yeah. I get my TV. So this can have a DVD player or a VHS player. This one isn't optioned with it, but I'm going to get it. You're gonna get a VHS player, right? I'm going to play Pokemon on repeat. I kind of had a, I kind of want to put Fern Gully in here. I don't know why. I've got a Dragon Ball Z VHS. Can I watch that? You can. I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna put Game Boy colors in the pockets with Pokemon. Oh, that's so cool. I and like it, the idea of the Japanese candy as well. Can we please do Japanese that? Japanese candy everywhere. Pokies oh. for everyone. Oh, so I've got this fun. remote here. You can, you can watch Japanese TV on here, if you're in Japan, but we can't. We can't obviously. And we're uh, in Japan. you can. It does, you can do a tour of Japan where it shows you like pictures of landmarks and stuff by going over the map. Oh, really? Show a bit of clip of that, but yeah. Oh, that way that goes in and clips up. What, there's so many buttons and like most of it's in Japanese. Like what's on that? Well, these, I can, I've got heated seats back here. Yeah. But you can get cooled seats, I think. I can turn your heated seat on from here, right? You can, yeah, the rear seat. Uh, and then I have a massaging seat. So I click it what? on and it starts vibrating. Are you serious? And then if you hold it, it gets more intense. Oh. Oh my god, that's oh. amazing. So it doesn't pulse, it vibrates. It vibrates. But it does have some accessories. Okay. So it has the original dictaphone and cassette that says Sentry on it. Oh, with, okay. with the original earphones. Wow, so like you could sit back there and do businesses? You do business. Yeah. You do business. And there's a microphone and a volume control. <laughs> I am a Japanese businessman. <laughs> Um, and these mirrors actually are very useful. And it's, I, I never thought about this, but I don't have to turn my head very far. They're not over here, they're up there. Yeah. So I just look. That's really cool. It's good for your bad neck. My bad, I do have a bad neck. I think that 
out of all the cars that we've ever tested, or I've ever driven, this almost tops the range of a vehicle that feels like more care and thought went into it than anything else. Uh, we drive a lot of vehicles and some of them are amazing. A lot of them are amazing, but they don't all make me want them as instantly as I wanted as this. Instantly. I don't feel the need to own them. So it's cool. It is just a cool car. Well done, James. I don't say that very often. Well done, James. So the Toyota Century, a mystery to most, a living room to some. It is the perfect antithesis and companion to James's MX-5. What it lacks in handling prowess, it makes up for with its wafting, majestic passenger experience. One that is fit, quite literally, for an emperor. Oh, and did we mention its absurdly large trunk space? And when I say absurdly large, I mean it. Yeah, things got out of hand. From its wool interior to the little safety pamphlet of a Japanese family having a simply terrible time, the Sentry is just about the most unique and luxurious, but plain-clothed car we've ever come across. This one is a particularly mint example, part of a Collection Auto's mantra, really, for when they bring stuff over. But they can be had with a lot more miles and for quite a bit cheaper. And all of them should carry that Toyota whiff of reliability and build quality. I, I honestly cannot wait to spend more time in what is quite literally my most surprising purchase of the decade. James, you had the perfect opportunity to say century. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is quite literally my most surprising purchase. Now nah, it's uh, too late. Uh, thanks for watching.